WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Eastern Time Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow 37 at 35,713 and needs to get to 35,766 to continue this leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology to continue this this uh, phase. Uh, we're always looking in the buy mode to, uh, to uh, go at least four higher peaks. That's the methodology. Find a low bar, peak A, peak B, peak C, D, E, F, G. But D is where other things can happen. And the obligation in this particular methodology is to get you to a D. And that's where we are. Does it continue or does it make a peak D? Well, this is interesting. Look, the S&P so far has failed today to make a new all-time high. Uh, it's just a little under it at 455 up uh, 10 points. But it has to go to the nines to be able to continue this leg C. My, my, my guess is that somehow or other we make a peak C today, then we go to a leg D in the S&P, and then we get everything in sync to maybe have a little bit of a digestive phase. The QQQ, you can see here, is struggling. It is only up $1.47 and 375 just can't get uh, legs here over the last two days to break to a new recovery high. IWM is showing some strength, but there again, I meant to mention in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, that the MDY, that's the mid caps, has in fact gone to an all time high. Excellent action. That's nice to see the mid caps there. Look at crude oil. We're looking at crude oil to say it's bumping into resistance right here in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. How does it handle this leg E to the upside? Maybe it's just a little bit of a sideways move together with the general market. Market. We'll see about that. The uh, gold is having a very nice move. Is it still up now? Yep, it's up $11, acting well. It's above the 200 period moving average. That's always good. Let's just have a quick look at the volatility index, the VIX, and I'll give you some things to look at for the rest of the day. The VIX is at 1548. If the market starts to pull back after 130 this afternoon, what's the VIX? If the VIX can't get out of its own way, yeah, that's one thing. But if it starts to rally, towards the 15.80 area, 16.10. That says watch out, a little bit of weakness coming in by the end of the day, maybe into early tomorrow. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pizzavento. Of course, I don't have to tell you who Larry is. Wonderful programming coming up, I'm sure, with great, great, great programming all day. Larry comes on, then Think I'll Swim, then Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Have a wonderful day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter on TFNN. And I did a webinar last week. That's archived, so if you sign up, you get that free. Have a great day. Watch the markets closely. Uh, so far, things are looking pretty good, even if we do get a little bit of a pullback. Have a great day.